Welcome to Panthers TV. You are joined here with me, Sam Hurst, as we look ahead to yet another busy weekend of action for the Nottingham Panthers, which includes a Sunday's game against German side Lausitzer Fuscher right here at the Motorpoint Arena. But before that, the Panthers will be heading to Altingham to face Manchester Storm on Friday evening. A little bit later on, we'll be hearing from Tim Doherty. But first, let's hear from your head coach, Danny Stewart. Panthers TV and we're with head coach Danny Stewart and Danny before we look at anything else I just want how do you assess the weekend just gone I think I think it was evident that we're not where we need to be but you know it's so early days and you know without diving into it too much last week it was a lot of a lot of disruptions with you know guys in and out of practice and <clears throat> a couple of sicknesses and, and stuff like that but um in saying that, I think it was it was bene it'll be beneficial for us in the long run. I think playing two quality teams like that, um, fast paced, you know, teams that were familiar had big chunks of their teams last year back, um, and you could tell they were a little bit more on the same page than us, and we were, you know, for some parts of those games, slightly behind. But uh, I think it's it it it's it's, it's going to help in pushing us to to where we need to be. And now you're in the second week uh, of training camp. How do you feel everything's coming together? Are you seeing big changes from the first session to now? Uh, you know, today we had a good session. Yeah, there was some good session. A little bit seemed a little bit more connected. So, um, you know, obviously the goal, I'm sure, as every other team, is just to kind of keep chipping away and getting better every day and just get, get that chemistry in place. And, and that's one thing we... You know, we looked a little disjointed at times, you know, systematically and, and communication-wise on the weekend. So, you know, that all comes with time and, you know, we just got to be patient with that. Does it help having such a long pre-season programme, three weeks, six games, it gives you a chance to iron out all, all those things? Very much so. It's, I think it's vital that we have that in place, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now, just before we, we look ahead... Uh, Rox Stojanovic is coming in to, as a uh, netminder, returning from last season. You know, how happy are you to get Rock? Yeah, really happy. You know, I thought he did a really good job here last year. He's solid. He's dependable, big body, and, 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 and you know gives you a chance to win every night. And I think you know it'll he'll come in and, and complement beds really, really well. Um, in the sense that they're you know both big guys and and cover large parts of the net and and you know two guys that can give us a chance to win every night and uh, you know once we heard about Hunter getting injured we were a little bit stressed you know would, would that t put some some stress on Ryan early days in the preseason but uh, you know getting him in for this week is is huge for us. How pleased are you that it's got sorted so quickly? Yeah, very pleased. Like I said, you know it was uh, a bit stressful. You know wondering if we we're going to have to, I guess put too much stress on Ryan in the preseason but uh, getting Rock in now you know he'll feature in this weekend's games and you know takes a little bit of time off of Ryan but also gives us another quality guy that can help us win hockey games. Another thing I'd love to get your opinion on is the, the uh, roster limits were announced uh, this week for, for the Elite League. One thing I particularly want to look at is the fact that two-way players now won't count as part of the roster unless they pay play 20 games yeah. now, how much does that help you in your planning and, and being able to bring guys in if if you need to yeah it helps you fill spots but I think I think it's equally as important for the for the younger guys the two-way guys because I felt at times last year when we not when I was in Coventry that you were hesitant to call a guy up because you didn't want to burn a roster spot if it was just going to be for a one game scenario so I think now, you know, you'll be more likely to, to bring guys up to, to fill the roster and, and give guys opportunity without, you know, burning those roster spots. So, you know, I think it's, it, 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 it uh, I guess it's beneficial for both the club and, and the young guys coming through. Looking ahead to the weekend, Manchester on Friday in Altrincham. I've spoken to a couple of the guys that don't really know what to expect from Altrincham. Of course, you do. <laughs> How do you prepare them for, for a rink like Manchester? Prepare them? I mean, you can... You can show them clips you can talk to them about it but uh i think alternum is is a is a place you have to experience and every year you know you try to but i think i think it's really good that we're going in there in the preseason i think um you know on the weekend it still looked like some guys still had some of the summer habits and you know you go into that building it forces you to play the right way it forces you to compete it forces you into puck battles and um you know, I think it's good for a group. And, you know, that we have an early cup game there in a couple of weeks' time as well. So it gives guys a taste of what it's like to go in there, you know, ahead of that. And then on to Sunday, back here at the Motor Points Arena against Lassie Sofusia of DEL2. 
We played UQTR last Saturday, a DEL2 side this Sunday. How good is it to get that variety of opposition throughout pre-season? Yeah, I think it's good. I think it's good for the fans to see, you know, different different teams from, from different leagues. And, um, you know, I think DEL2 DL is a good level. And, you know, these guys will come in and, and maybe play a bit different style of play than what we saw against Sheffield. Certainly will, what we'll see in, on Friday in Manchester. So it'll be two different types of games. And, I, yeah, I think it's good. I think, you know, on Friday it'll, it'll you know, give us an indication of how we got to play, with, like meat and potato-wise. And, um, you know, on Sunday it might be a little bit more fast-paced, you know, speed element and, and see how we get on with that. And finally, on Sunday, it's your second game at the Motor Points Arena. Saturday was your first game here as the good guy. <laughs> How did you enjoy that? I did. I enjoyed it. It was, uh, I won't lie, maybe a bit odd at, 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 at the start, <laughs> right? Because you're, you're so, you, I mean, 18 years I've been in this, this mm -hmm. league and being on the away bench. But uh, it felt good to be on that side. And, you know, especially when the crowd got into it, it was, it was good. It was exciting. Danny, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Sunday's game is the GM, the GM Memorial Trophy, where we will remember our long-term general manager, Gary Moran, who sadly passed away from cancer back in 2021. Lausitzer Fuchsia are one of the top teams in Dell 2, previously coached by Corey Nielsen, someone you may know as a former Panthers player and now, of course, in charge of the Glasgow Pan. But now it is time to hear from a new face to the Panthers roster from Tim Doherty. Panthers TV with forward Tim Doherty and Tim, looking back at the weekend, you got yourself off the mark in front of these home fans. How did you feel about that one? Yeah, that was pretty cool. Uh, pretty incredible crowd for a, a preseason game. And, um, you know, I think that's a sign for what's to come this year with the support. And uh, we really can't ask for anything more than that. It was pretty sweet. You, we've just been talking, we've seen five and a half thousand people for, for an exhibition game, essentially. I think he was pretty surprised by that amount of people in the stands. Yeah, even just the warm-ups, it was pretty crowded. It was pretty sweet being out there. And then uh, to come out um, for, the, for the first period, it was incredible to see all the people and how loud it was and, uh, you know, kind of get our first experience of, of the support and the fans that uh, hopefully we can have all year. Two games under your belt now. How, how do you assess the, the two games overall? Yeah, um, obviously we'd like to win both those games, but... Um, it's preseason for a reason and um, you know we got a lot of new faces around here and still getting to know each other and, and figure each other out so um, I think this preseason's a good time for us to kind of build and just get better every day and um, you know when the regular season comes we'll hit the ground running. Game number three coming up on Friday in Altrincham against the Manchester Storm. What do you know about the Storm? Um, I don't know a whole lot honestly. <laughs> oh, what do you know about do you know anything about the rink at all? Um, I haven't uh, I've heard some things, um, so it'll be interesting to, to be there Friday night. Um, I actually have a buddy on the team, so it'll be good to see him. But, um, you know, obviously looking for our first win, and um, I think we'll, we'll be able to do that Friday night. And then looking ahead again Sunday, back here against Laos, it's the future of uh, DEL2. I, I asked the same question to Chris Conto. So how does it feel like playing teams that you're not necessarily playing regularly throughout the season yeah i think it's a good test for us no matter who we're playing um at the end of the day it's a hockey game and, and we're here to win um and just you know build build on our our team and get better so like i said come opening night um when the points matter we're ready to go and finally uh, into the second week of training camp now how do you feel everything's going and how much you're enjoying being in nottingham yeah it's been awesome um even just texting with my family home i i love it here and it's it's been 10 out of 10 so far, so uh, no complaints on my end. Tim, appreciate your time. Thank you yeah, so much. Thank you. Well, it's nearly time for the weekend, guys. Tickets for Sunday's game are still available to purchase online. Just head to the website panthers.co.uk and follow the links there.